upset with me. Carrie was getting pissed, like, because I sat up all night um, and didn't let him leave my eyesight. Carrie was telling me, you don't do people like that. He don't do that because he bought it. This is a nice guy. You know, I felt like Carrie was like, you know, Carrie a nerd. So it was like his nerd buddy, you know, like <laughs> he all right. And, but no, no, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Something and you just didn't click with it. It didn't. And, and, you know, it was his age for one, he's a stranger and he just didn't seem like a normal 20 year old. He's really into video games. Um, I asked him uh, what kind of girls he likes and he told me Asian. So I knew he was lying. I said, nah, nigga, you gay. I said that in my mind, because only gay guys say that, really. And no shade to the Asian women. <laughs> <laughs> the straight men Asian really don't Asian say Asian it. girl. Yes. So I knew then. I'm like, okay. You know, but I'm trying to get to know him, you know, because I didn't know. And trying to tug him a little bit. Like, well, yeah, boy, you know. Do you like girls? You know, what's up? Um, I had to always encourage him with hygiene. Um, that was a, that was a, a struggle. So even if I'm picking you up just to come to dinner, you got to take a shower and change your clothes um, because the lady he was staying with, she was having issues um, with him doing just normal, basic stuff. So he had challenges. So a challenged person did some stupid shit, which is yeah. please don't think that anyone here is making light of what this young man is accused of, because that's the story y'all will leave here and say that we're somehow being apologists for uh, uh, oh, no. predators. That's not what anybody's saying. But this is a young man that you can look at the picture and tell that, you know, something is not, you know, 100 right. um, mm -hmm. on any level. Um, I don't see where the other person seems to be delayed or, or have any of those same challenges. Um, nobody can make light of, yeah, not like, not obvious. Like this young man, you showed the picture of the young man in that picture looks special needs. Like something's oh, not, yeah. I don't know what, what the diagnose, but something is yeah. a little different with him. Yeah. Yeah. So now, uh, he has a brother who um, has some struggles as well, but he has, um, I think they caught him in enough time. The father, um, the father mm -hmm. has been, you know, hands-on and, and guiding him um, and just trying to keep him, of, you know, going in the right direction. So, but I think mm -hmm. there's some challenges there too, I could tell. Yeah. Wow. Well, Something I hope else I wanted can... to point out. This is also to people who may have someone with challenges. You need to talk to them too. Talk to them about um, not harming children. Talk to them about uh, appropriateness. Because just because you have this mental mm -hmm. illness or this challenge, that won't help you when you commit a crime. They didn't even recognize that Trey has a challenge. Not that it mattered because of what he did, but you know, he is supposed to have this right. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, it, it went un, unnoticed. But he has well, they the have diagnosis. observation units in jail. They put you in jail even though you have um, mental illness or, or if you have any MR diagnosis, that don't stop them from putting you in jail. They just put you in jail in that de that department or in that area. Yeah. So that stood out to me too, th you know, that somebody could have a, a, a loved one who's mentally challenged or has, you know, something.
um, they need to be educated as well. And there's a way to educate them on their level. Talk to them, take time out so that they understand their role as an adult. I, I just think that like when people hide things, they know they're wrong. I don't care what your level of cognition is. If they don't do it right in front of you and they go hide and do it, they, they know it was wrong. wrong. Yes. And they you don't know get it's to wrong. prove that in the court, you know, oh, he, he has a mental, no, you know, no, he tried to hide it. So that's how they be knowing. Thank you. That's how they know. And they slammed his ass as they should have. Once I heard everything that Ab read, I hadn't heard all of that because common sense, let's use our common sense here. Um, his guardian, the lady who had taken him in in Florida, um, she's a doctor. Um, I had no clue. I knew she was a doctor. But once she read the report, I learned last night that there was even a nanny. So there were. So where the child was violated, it was all of these mandated reporters there? No, and nobody knew. It took for him, it took for the child's father, which Ebony read in the report, to question the boy for the boy to finally admitted that, you know, the boy said um, he he thought once his dad asked him, he should just blurt it out, and he did. And but was he all those about different eyes well? in the house? Huh? And all those people around, and nobody knew if this guy was that sly, I would say, or that convincing that he was operating below everybody's knowledge. Isn't that something? And he's the one that's supposed to be challenged. But he was able to, like I said, in the report she read they had a nanny. I didn't know that. You know, I knew this lady was had a, you know, top-notch career, but um, I didn't know there was a nanny there. She didn't tell me that, and neither did Trey. Trey never mentioned there being a nanny. 